Hi there, if your iPad is running slow, or it went slower after updated to iPad OS 17, or the upcoming 18, and you wonder how to speed it up, you are in the right place. Here we will find out the reasons and speed it up with some methods. Let's get started. Part 1. Why is my iPad running slow after update? This must be the question in your mind right now. So here's the quick answer. First, the update process may have some software bugs, which cause the slowdown. After the update, iPad might allow more apps to run in the background, and it will refresh data more frequently. Additionally, the update might need more storage space, and all these might affect your iPad's performance. So after knowing the reasons why, we can fix that with the following tips. Part 2. How to fix iPad running slow after update with four useful tips. Here are some basic tips to try. You can check out the description to watch the part you are interested in. If you've already tried these and they haven't helped, move on to part three to fix the system problem. Fix one, close background apps and disable background app refresh on iPad. Even when you're not actively using those apps, they still run at the back end and slow iPad down. So just swipe up from the bottom of the screen and swipe up on the app cards to close them. You can double click the home button to do that if you have an iPad with the home button. It may speed up your iPad. And did you know you can disable a setting to stop apps from updating themselves in the background? Let's go to general in setting. Tap background app refresh and toggle it off or choose the app you want to turn that off so that you can free yourself from swiping things off in the middle of something. And here's another trick you must try. It can fix most of the system delays. Fix 2. Force Restart iPad. This method still remains effective for most users. It can restore your iPhone to its default state. Here is how to do that. Quickly press and release the volume up button, and then the volume down button. Then, press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. And you really need to do this when you have using your iPad for a long time to refresh its systems. Release the side button when you see the logo. Then your iPad will reboot and get a system refreshed. For iPads with a home button, just press and hold the power button and the home button at the same time. Until the Apple logo appears, we'll be okay. If that doesn't help move to the next method. Fix 3. Free up storage space. Since the update may take up more space, if your iPad storage is almost full, it can seriously impact its performance. You can check the storage in the settings, tap on General, and choose Storage. Here you can check the storage, and you can offload some apps you don't need or delete large unused files or videos. You can enable Auto Offload to automatically delete unused apps when storage is almost full. If this can't work for you, and your iPad is a very old model, you can go for the next method. If not, please go straight to part 3. Fix 4. Reduce motion and transparency effects on iPad. These two settings may lag your iPad after updated, especially for older iPads. You can turn on reduce transparency in settings. Go to accessibility. Tap display and text size and toggle on Reduce Transparency. Go back to tap on Motion and turn on Reduce Motion. Then your iPad will turn less charming in exchange for speed. But if your iPad is already in this kind of situation or none of the above mentioned tips worked for you, your iPad may have some system issues. You can try to fix it with a reliable and safe repair tool. And since I have fixed this before, here I will use Rei Boot to show you how to do this. Part 3. Fix iPad slow after update caused by system issue with Rei Boot. Rei Boot provides an all-in-one solution for Apple systems. You can smoothly and safely repair the issue your iPad may have and speed it up, especially after an update. And it's quick and easy. Here is how to use it. After downloading and installing Rei Boot on your PC or Mac, Connect your iPad via cable. Click Trust on your iPad, 
Then click this green star. Choose Standard Repair and follow the on-screen instructions to go through the process. Then you can click on Start Standard Repair to start the repair. When it's done, your problem will be fixed and all your data will be saved. Although it is a paid version, it is worth a try because it is the most cost-effective method to fix the slow problem, saving you from changing a new one. So I will leave the link below for you to at least check it out. Okay. Hope all these will fix your iPad running slow problem. Please like and subscribe to support us. See you in the next video.